Could you please tell us really how you came to know about the Nobel Prize? Well, it's a very interesting story actually. Um, I had been invited to Nice, France to give a talk and also to uh, Naples, Italy to give another talk. So I was in uh, Nice on, uh, on October 12th in, in the morning and uh, I uh, was waiting to board the airplane when the uh, airport attendant uh, came over to me with a cellular phone and she said, are you Dr. Ignaro? I said, yes. She said, um, there's an important phone call from the United States. So she gave me the cellular phone and, and uh, I said, uh, hello. And it was one of my colleagues who's a physician at UCLA. And uh, he usually jokes around with me and so on and, and he calls me all the time. He, he asked me how I was doing, how was the weather, how was the trip and I said, fine, fine, but I'm very busy, I have to get on the plane, let me call you when I get to Naples in about an hour. He said, okay, but before you go I have to tell you something. And I said, well, uh, please make it in a hurry because I have to board the plane. And he said, you won the Nobel Prize. And. Uh, then we got disconnected. The cellular phone, you know, the power was lost. We got disconnected and uh, uh, I gave back the phone and I boarded the plane, but I never really knew if I had won the Nobel Prize uh, or not. And so I boarded the plane and I remember I was looking at the, the people on the plane. I thought maybe if it was true, maybe this was in the newspaper and people would recognize my face. And so I kept looking at everybody to see if, if anybody would recognize me, but uh, nobody recognized me. So I sat down and uh, uh, again, I wasn't sure. So about an hour later when the plane landed in Naples, the uh, professor who invited me to give a, a talk at the University of Naples was waiting for me, not in the terminal building where you wait for most people who are coming in by plane, but he was actually standing on the runway with the airport police waving a piece of paper. And so I looked at him from the, from the window of the airplane and I'm wondering, what, what is he doing there? And then I suspected that, you, you know, maybe he's trying to tell me some important news. Maybe, maybe it is true. So I exited the plane and I get to the uh, uh, ground and he says, Lou, Lou, have you heard the news? And I said, no, no, uh, 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 I didn't want to tell him what I heard. I said, no, I haven't heard any news. He said, quickly, come over here and read this. So he holds up this piece of paper, but it was written Later I found out it was written in Swedish. It was the press release, I guess, but I recognized the first five letters of this very long word and it started off N-O-B-E-L and then my eyes drifted downward and I saw my name and, and uh, I actually dropped to the uh, ground. I was so, um, so surprised and so uh, uh, jubilant and, and that's how I first heard uh, about the Nobel Prize, far away from home.